Hey, this is Neighbor Argetsy. I'm bringing you some of the best comics that you might not know yet, but you're about to get to know them. All right. So good. All right. So good. Awesome, man. Thanks for having me, Nashville. This is great. It's Tennessee. It means allergy season. Allergies are the worst here. We're number one. You know that, right? They rank the states. We're always number one. Here's how bad it is in Tennessee. I just read this. We have people in Tennessee now buying meth to turn it back into Sudafed. That is when you know it's out of control. It's out of control. It's <laughs> great. Uh, trying to get healthy. Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, my snoring, allergies are bad and my snoring's bad. It may, who's married to a snorer in the house? Married to a snorer. Okay, a couple of, couple of guys raised their hands. She's like a freight train. Pray for us. I woke up the other day. My wife was in the next room. I was like, are we that couple now? The separate rooms, people? I thought I had a couple more years. It's so loud, she said. I was like, do I have the apnea? People are dying from that sleep apnea. Do I have that? She goes, I don't know what that is. I said, do I stop breathing in the middle of the night? She said, no, I wish. It's hateful. It's a hateful thing. It's a fun job. I like this job a lot. I do, I've done a lot of weird jobs. I've been doing this 15 years. I, when you first start out, you take a lot of jobs you should have said no to, but you don't know any better. I did, uh, in 2010, I did a homeschool convention. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I got the job because they, my agent told them I was homeschooled my last two years of high school, which is true. But I was like, I don't relate to today's homeschooler. Like one out of five families today, homes. When I did, it was the 90s. It was like shut-ins and burn victims and my family. That was the community of homeschoolers. But this lady called me so excited, Johnny, a thousand homeschoolers are waiting on you. They're so excited. You got, listen, you're one of us. You got to write some homeschool jokes. These people love to be teased. And I was like, lady, I'm on it. And, uh, <laughs> and they do not love it. Uh, no, they do not. I ran out with my homeschool jokes. It was all I could do to get out of there alive. <laughs> we got to learn to laugh at ourselves in this country again. Do you want to hear the joke that offended him? All right, I ran out. I was like, guys, what is the difference between a thousand homeschoolers and my dogs? And they were like, what? I said, my dogs are vaccinated. <laughs> and these homeschoolers will bite you. They will bite you, latch on, had to burn him off like a tick. People are too sensitive. My wife's got a friend. She wants to come with us to lunch after church the other day. I was like, cool, I want to be neighborly. But it's her friend Stacy. Stacy is a vegetarian. I'm like, fine, whatever. But we're going to Cracker Barrel. I was like, what can she eat at Cracker Barrel, sweetie? Okay, they cook their green beans and hog lard. What can she have? The box? What's left? She's like, it'll be okay. Y'all, it wasn't okay. I'm having my old timer's breakfast. Hold my piece of bacon like an American. I can feel Stacy's eyes on me the whole meal. Finally, I was like, what? She said, do you have any idea how they make that? I said, I don't, but you tell them they're nailing it because <laughs> this is like a hug from Jesus. And if you're a vegetarian here tonight, please don't be offended. I want you to feel welcome. Please don't be offended if you're a vegetarian. I mean, I'm not afraid of you charging the stage and attacking me. You're far too weak. So don't even... It's a lot of steps. You could get woozy. I was an awkward kid, painfully shy, and a chubby kid in middle school. Middle school was hard. I had asthma. Who has, who has asthma? Anybody have asthma in here? Hold your inhalers high. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> did, you, did you have the doctor's note in middle school? Wasn't that the best? That's your get out of gym free card. That's what that is. Hand that over. That's your copy. Okay. I'm going to have a seat. Oh, we're climbing the big rope. I don't think so. <laughs> I will not be getting friction burns on my crotch. I'm going to have a seat wheezed to myself. That was eighth grade. Then ninth grade comes. That's the high school PE teacher, Mr. Bledsoe. What a Nazi. Because what is this, asthma? I can cure asthma. I said, you can what? His cure for asthma, y'all, he made me run what's called suicides. You guys know what that is? It's like a horrifying series of... Wind sprints, they call it suicide. I don't know who named that, but let me tell you something. If you make a little fat kid run back and forth until he dies, that is homicide. That is not. They will prosecute you. Pretty sure. Gym class games are the worst, right? Who made up these games? Dodgeball, who made that up? Hitler, who made that up? 
Hey, throw this red ball as hard as you can at that fat kid. Don't hit him in the head, though, or it won't count. Although, we'll all laugh. Even the names of some of the games let you know it's not for you. They're like, Red Rover, Red Rover, you separated my shoulder. You're injuring children. <laughs> Hurting people. Middle school was hard. Health class is the worst in middle school because you don't know anything. You're an idiot. You don't know anything. Especially as a boy, you're supposed to know things. You're supposed to be a man. You don't know anything like sex or our bodies. We got no idea. What we're hoping in health class in middle school is that one kid will ask the question that you desperately want to know the answer to. <laughs> So you can be like, what a weirdo, he didn't know. <laughs> All right, noted. <laughs> These are health class heroes. They fell on the grenade for all of us. For me, it was my buddy Chad, seventh grade, man, I'll never forget it. He did it, man. Mr. Trawick, our health class teacher, has got the pointer out. He's pointing at the anatomy chart. He gets down to the ovaries. My buddy Chad sheepishly raises his hand. Mr. Trawick, where are my ovaries? <laughs> The whole class froze. Mr. Trawick said, son, you don't have ovaries. <laughs> and a lot of us laughed, you know. But some of us were like, what? What happened to Chad's ovaries? And how does Mr. Trawick know about it? Trying to eat better, it's hard on the road, man. People want to take you out, take good care of you, man, you know. I was at a, doing a club in Tampa last month, and the guy goes, hey, you like lobster? I go, lobster, let's go. I'm a big shot. I didn't know we were going to his house. That's a different experience. His wife is five feet from me in the kitchen. I heard the sound of a live lobster going down into the pot. This whistling, screaming sound came out. I was like, I'm out of here. Not joining this cult. She comes out all defensive. Johnny, settle down. First of all, that's not a scream. That's a physiological reaction. That's just air escaping. Air is escaping. I said, that's what a scream is. <laughs> Who are we kidding? No, they love it. It's like a jacuzzi. They love it. That's like leaving the show tonight and seeing somebody get stabbed and being like, he's just letting off excess blood. He's fine. He had a lot of blood. And we laugh at the vegetarians, but be honest with yourselves, we're all conflicted. We eat the meat, we're conflicted though, okay? I'll prove it to you. We change the name of the meat, the cuter the animal gets. What's that about? That's a coping skill. Chicken meat's just chicken, fish meat's just fish. Why? They're ugly, they're beady-eyed, kick them in the face. We don't care. We don't care. We get to cows, if something happens, we're like, cows are cute, look at it. Beef, this one's beef now. It's what's for dinner, beef. This isn't deer, Lord no. Venison, enjoy that venison. I mean, this isn't raccoon, this is a McRib. We changed the names. Some of y'all are like, is that true? We don't know what's in a McRib, be honest with yourselves. All we know is it goes away, then it comes back every few months. Where's it going? I can't do McRibs anymore, this is true. Vanderbilt University, they had a chemistry major a few years ago. She did a study on all the chemicals in some of the fast food, right? It made national news because she found an ingredient in McRibs also used to make exercise mats. That's true, that's so gross. And if you're in here tonight and you eat McRibs, you're probably like, what is an exercise mat? Y'all are great, I'm Johnny W, thanks for having me. See y'all next.